Terry and the Pirates. Dr. Moy Bent, assistant at the experimental gas station at Min Chow, has been exposed as a crook and one of the Dragon Lady's men. But Hook holds the upper hand, for Pat Ryan, Jude Hennick, and Connie are now his prisoners, locked in a gas chamber at the laboratory. Hook has determined to get rid of them by releasing a deadly gas into that chamber. Unaware of their danger, yet worried because they did not return to the log cabin, young Terry Lee started up the snow-covered trail. It was after midnight as Terry rang the bell at the laboratory entrance. We'll join Terry on tonight's transcribed adventure in just a moment. Terry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Tomato Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. I imagine that some of you boys and girls, particularly the boys will someday want to run for public office. Well, if so, the first thing you do is to go out and tell the voters why you're qualified for that office. Then, if you gain their confidence, chances are you'd win. Well, it's the same way with Libby's tomato juice. This swell-tasting drink has won the confidence of everybody who has tried it. And Libby's has been voted into thousands of refrigerators because it has what folks want. Flavor. Full, rich, satisfying flavor and health-protecting vitamins. This winning combination is made possible only because Libby cans this famous tomato juice with lots of extra care. Libby goes out of its way to get the juice of prized tomatoes. And then Libby carefully presses the juice from these luscious red-ripe tomatoes at their flavor peak. Quickly cans the juice to safeguard against flavor loss. Once you've tried Libby's tomato juice, you'll know it's the finest tasting possible. Start campaigning for Libby's tomato juice in your refrigerator now. When you tell that mother of yours that Libby's is a mighty good source of vitamins A, B1, C, and G, it's a cinch she'll have Libby's tomato juice for you often. And now, Terry and the Pirates. <laughs> And now, as we join Terry, he has been admitted to the laboratory by Kennington Hook. Terry is weary. Little does he suspect that his friends are in a gas chamber nearby and that Hook is making ready to release a deadly gas into that chamber. Oh, I'll sit here and rest a moment. I've climbed up the hill, so I took my breath away. Very well, Terry. I have a little more work to do anyway. One of the poison gas tanks has a leak. I want to seal it up myself. I shan't be a moment. Just make yourself at home. Oh, uh... Oh, by the way, Terry, I, uh... Wouldn't go wandering about this place, you know. It's rather dark. And you might, uh... You might get hurt, to say the least. Oh, don't worry about me, Mr. Hook. I've done enough walking for one evening. It's rather dangerous unless you know your way. Poison gas has a way of catching you. As Kennington Hook goes to another part of the building, leaving Terry alone... Suddenly, a tapping sound is heard, and Terry sits up listening. Well, that, that's a dot and dash code. It's coming from this wall over here. Somebody's calling for help. I'll, I'll answer it. locked in that room. What in heaven's name's happened? Sorry to have kept you waiting, Terry, uh, but uh, I'll be through with my work. Just a few minutes more. Oh, uh, oh yes, Mr. Hook. Uh, don't mind me. Hi, Terry. Why do you lean against the wall? Sit down and be comfortable. Oh, I got to thinking about Pat and Dude and Connie. You know, I think I know where they are. You do? Then you shouldn't have come up here to the laboratory, eh? Oh, I, I don't know about that. Well, if I can be of any help, you can always count on me. You mean I can expect as much help from you as Dr. Moy Ben got? What do you mean by that? Well, you haven't been able to locate the doctor, and you seem to know your way about pretty well. <laughs> I'm not a detective, Terry. I make no claims of being anything but just an ordinary chemist. And uh, you're sure you don't know where Pat and Dude are? Now, how could I, Terry? I've been here all evening. I, I've been busy. Yeah, I, I believe I... you've been busy, but 
Somehow or other, I have a feeling that Pat might be kind of near to us right now. Well, if he's prowling around outside, he'd better be careful. I might take a pot shot at any person who didn't identify himself. You ever hear the Morse code, Mr. Hook? The Morse code? What is that? It's a system of dots and dashes. You can tap out a message on a desk or a You're or talking wall. Probably, young fellow. I don't quite understand you tonight. No, well, whatever you do, don't say it's because I got a rap on the head a few minutes back, because that isn't so. Then what is it? Terry, as I said before, you shouldn't have come up here to the laboratory. You're tired. And you... I don't like to do this, Mr. Hook, but I'm telling you to put your hands up. What? Yeah, that's what I said. I mean business. If I'm wrong about all this, I can apologize later. Now, keep those hands up. Don't make me use this gun. Really, old fellow, what's the meaning of this? I, I don't quite follow you. Neither do I, but keep your hands up anyway. Stand over there by the wall where I keep an eye on you. I'll be quick. I must say you're doing things in a rather high-handed fashion. Maybe yet. so, but there's something I want to find out. Who's locked in that room, the room next to this room? You're bummy, old chap. That blow on your head has upset you. You think so? Then listen to this. I'm going to tap against the wall using the Morse code. Listen. Now listen, Hook. Pat is in there. He's going to answer me. Listen. Guess you know what that signal is. You're out of your head. Matt is a hatter. That was the signal SOS. Now then, Hook, we're going to find out what this is all about. I'll give you less than one minute to take me to the door of the next room, unlock it, and let Pat out. You're making a mistake, Terry. I don't think so, but you'll make one if you don't keep those hands up. Now then, get a move on. Very well. Follow me. I'm right behind you, so don't make any wrong turns think that I thought you were all right. I must be crazy. This is the door. It leads into the gas chamber. All right, open it up. You heard me, Hook. Work fast. Very well. In there, Pat. You can come out now. <coughs> this place is filled with some kind of gas. <coughs> Just in time. Dude is, dude is helping Connie out. These fumes are terrible. There's, <coughs> there's another chap in there. <coughs> Hook knows who he is. Then Hook can go in and drag him out. Hook. I'm not going in there. You're, you're not safer in there <coughs> than you are out here right now. <coughs> as soon as I get this gas out of my lungs, I'll give you a lick and you'll never forget. Get in that gas chamber. Show some action. Very well. <coughs> Come, he's, he's had too much of this stuff. He's, he's out. The other fellow in there, he's out too. Work fast, Hook. I'll be waiting here when you come out. I'll lend a hand with Connie. Get him in the other room, away from the gas. Uh, Hook almost got us. Thank my lucky stars, Terry got here when he did. I'll be in there and join you in a minute, as soon as Hook comes out with his other phone. Uh, with Connie in his chair. Open that window, dude. Okay. Get some fresh air in. I think you'll be all right. How you feeling, Duty? Uh, a few more whiffs of that stuff, and I've been a dead pigeon. It was a smart bit of business, Patrick. Tapping that in Morse code on the wall of a gas chamber. Lucky for us, Terry was outside. Yeah. <coughs> this one time we got the brakes. He hadn't been there. Stop! Stop, Rose! Shoot! Something, something's up. Stay here with Connie. Terry's out there. Shots came from the hall. He got away, Pat. I tried to wing him, but... Oh, what do you mean? Hook? He pulled a fast one. Came out of the gas chamber dragging this fellow, dropped him, took a swing at me, and... When he missed, well, golly, got away. Well, take a quick look around outside. This car isn't parked there. Can't get away in that. I'm Hall Lisbird, named Saki. Get in the other room by an open window. He got away all right, Pat. I don't believe he's hiding any place around this laboratory. Yeah. He knows as soon as it gets light, we'll make a thorough search anyway. I wonder if Hook beat it into Min Chow. Well, wherever he is, he still has those gas formula papers with him. Not around here, I've looked. I think that fellow was a crook. I'll bet he's tied up with a dragon lady, too. Yeah, he as much as admitted it before he jammed us into the gas chamber. Boy, I'd like to get my hands on that bird. Uh, this is going to be a blow to Burma. She thought he was a swell fella. It was the easy manners that did it. Yeah, women fall for the pretty talk and the la-da-da stuff. Well, Burma will get over it. Somebody will have to tell her. She's been wasting her time on a heel. Well, I don't want the job. Nor I. I'm no good at talking to a woman. You can let Dude go to the cabin and spill the bad news. Hey, Dude, how are things coming in there? What's the verdict? Well, they're coming all around all right. Connor's almost as good as ever. What about that, that crook, Saki? Yeah, he thinks he's going to die, but I'm afraid he won't. 
He feels pretty sad about this mess. Says he wants to help us. Well, does Sackey know that Brother Hook made a getaway? Yeah, I just told him. He thinks he knows where we can find Hook if he's gone into Min Chow. Oh, good. I'll go in and talk to Sackey. And then, if he makes sense, I'll take him into town with me. We'll dig up Mr. Hook. What'll I do? Connie, my head's spinning like a top. And you stay here and look after Connie. I'll take a run back down the hill to the cabin and see if the girls are okay. Yeah. Berm and April have been sitting up by the fire wondering what's happening. There. It's me, dude. Oh, oh wait, I'll, I'll be out. You better get the fire going again. Oh, where's he been? Hey, where's Pat and the others? Well, what time is it? Oh, all right. Where's April? She's asleep. Sat up as long as we can hold our eyes open. What time is it? Okay, I'm just about. I don't know. I'll start the fire. Well, don't be a mystery man, Mr. Henry. Tell me the story. Plenty of time for that. Well, what am I supposed to do? Sit here and toast my cookies while you give me tonight's adventure chapter by chapter? Hey, Bummer, have you heard from Kennington Hook? I mean, in the past half hour or so? I haven't heard from anyone. That's why April and I sat up. Why? Should I have had a call from you? Yeah, we'll have a fire rolling up the chimney in no time. <clears throat> Six about the coldest hours are just before dawn. What do you want to tell me, dude? I, uh, I'm not much good at this sort of talk. Is it... Is it something about Ken? Well, you uh, you like him quite a bit, don't you? Well, I, I've got no reason not to like him. He's always been nice to me. Has he been hurt? No. I'm afraid you're the one that'll be hurt, Burma. You see, I... somebody's at the back door of this cabin. Who could it be at this hour? Is it Terry or Pat? Or... They wouldn't knock. They'd come in by the front door. Well, I'll see who it is. Now, listen. If it's Kennington Hope, don't tell him I'm here. Will you promise that? Why should you be coming here? Don't tell him I'm here. That's all I ask. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. Okay, I promise I won't tell him. Well, darling, I must talk to you. Has Pat Ryan or any of the others returned here? Why, Ken, what's happened? You're fine with me, Burma. I know you trust me. And please do as I say. I'll need your help. I've got to go away. You've got to go away. Yes, you see, Verma, I... Uh... Oh, come on into the big room, Ken. Come on into the fire. You're sure it's quite safe? Safe? Why shouldn't it be safe? Yes, yes, of course. Of course. Very well. But only for a moment. You see, dear, I need your help. I have my car ready. And I want you to drive me from Minchia to Chungking immediately. Will Kennington Hook get Burma to help him escape? Or will Jude Hendrick interfere? There's a genuine surprise in store for you in tomorrow's transcribed adventure. And I'll give you a hint about it in just a moment. If you want to enjoy the flavor thrill of a lifetime, tomorrow, start working on Mother. Today, tell her you want Libby's tomato juice and tell her why. Naturally, it's pretty difficult to explain how wonderful Libby's flavor is. That's something a person just has to experience. But you can give her these important facts. Tell her that Libby's tomato juice gives you four vitamins. Vitamins A, B1, C, and G. Take my tip and you'll be enjoying super swell Libby's tomato juice regularly. Also suggest Libby's pineapple juice. Be sure it's Libby's. L-I-B-B-Y-S. Well, all accounts have to be settled sooner or later, and Jude Hennick has an account to settle with the crooked Mr. Hook. True, Burma has been attracted to Hook and is fond of him, but if you join us tomorrow at this same time, you'll see what happens when two men and a woman meet, each with a desperate attempt to have his or her own way. <laughs> <laughs> 